All right, well, Kath, thank you so much for that. Well, um, we've got a new politics, series of politics programmes going to be starting. They're going to be every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock, uh, from October the 12th. You might remember George Hargreaves, the leader of the Christian Party. Um, he um, used to do a politics programme and then it stopped. Sadly, his, his wife was very ill and, and has since died. But George is going to come back and do it on Wednesday nights, live at 9. And uh, yesterday... Um, some of his team came in who are going to be helping him with it. Um, one is, is a guy called Dave, and the other is a guy called James. And I sat them down here in the studio yesterday evening and just began to chat to, a little bit to them about where they've come from. And hopefully, if we've got the right clip, this is a little bit of my conversation with them. Well, I'm pleased to have James and David with me. And uh, I want to start, David, by talking to you. Um, you've been organising a prayer for Parliament for the last three years, is that right? Uh, well, actually, we've been doing it for eight years uh, from the Westminster Central Hall, but for the last three years, um, I've been taking a team into Parliament, um, going into both the public galleries and the central lobby, and uh, every Tuesday evening. All right. And so what, what happens? How, how do you pray? What do you do? Um, we basically we pray for Parliament, for the MPs, and... Um, everything to connected with it uh, in the Westminster Central Hall for about an hour and a half. And then we lead uh, whoever wants to come into Parliament over. We just go in as members of the public. Uh, we've got to know um, the, the guys who, who look after the sort of public gallery of the Commons. And then we go over to the Lords and the Strangers Gallery. And then we come back in the central lobby and we just sort of pray a few prayers. And just, just really, um, the scripture that really excites me is that and, and how it started was that one in Joel that says, wherever you place the soles of your feet, God gives you the kingdom of heaven. And it literally is that. Wherever we go, we just feel that, you know, we're um, politics. I mean, you know, not politics and the Houses of Parliament are built on Christian values. And it just makes sense to, to be there um, as a, with a Christian team, helping to support your country and your politicians um, in all ways they need a lot of prayer mm. and uh, we've seen a lot of changes and we've been welcomed with open arms by the staff and others right and, and normally I'm sure every month is different but normally how many people come to to pray um, we can get up to about sort of probably 20 in the Westminster Central Hall and then probably about half maybe varies from 8 to 10 12 come in on, a, on into yeah. the Parliament and if there's a if there are we've even had people up from Places like Torquay, we've had Americans over in the States um, who come if there's a conference. And I mean, the biggest number I've ever gone in was about 35. So, mm. um, it, so it, if uh, there's some people who are watching who are thinking, oh, that's something, maybe they live in the London area or whatever, I'd like to, to be part of that. Is there a website or something uh, that they can they find? They can go on prayer for Parliament. Um, and, but, the, but the key plan is, is if, they're, if they're not doing anything, if they come to uh, Westminster Central Hall at about between 6, 6.30, uh, we'll be there in the chapel uh, until about 7.30, quarter to 8. And on the times when Parliament's open, obviously when they're in recess, we don't, can't normally mm -hmm. always get in. Um, then we always go over about half seven, quarter to 8. And it, they're welcome to join us. And uh, it, it's, it's an amazing experience. And is this normally the first Tuesday of every month? Or how, how do they know when it's every Tuesday, be? Every Tuesday that Parliament's running. Right. Um, so from when they come back on the, about the 10th of October, on the 11th we'll be going in. And uh, that'll be right through till the Christmas break. And um, so it, every, every single week. Okay. Now, it used to be that George Hargreaves, who, who leads the, the Christian Party, um, did a politics program here at Revelation TV. That's been stopped for a while, but it's going to restart. The date of the restart is October the 12th, 12th and then it's going to run on a, on a Wednesday evening, 9 o'clock from thereafter. Correct. Okay. And, and one of the things that George has done is, is got a group of, of interns, I guess that's the description to use, um, who are going to do all the legwork to make it happen. <laughs> and uh, uh, James, you're one of those people, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. Right. So, I mean, just, just tell us a little bit. You, you, uh, you, you're trained as an artist. Um, you've been trying to get work on the job centre. And then you heard George speak, and, and here you are. So tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah. Well, um, 
you know, I've always, I've grown up in Hackney in London and um, I've recently graduated from Middlesex University with my degree in fine art. And, you know, fine art, a great, great degree. For me, um, you know, I, I learned a lot of skills, but not necessarily transferable skills to go into an industry where I could get full-time employment. Mm -hmm. And so I've been looking for the last four months for something that could really get me, get me going into something that can really take me somewhere in the future. And, you, and then suddenly, uh, George Hargreaves. But, but you, I mean, you, you know nothing about George Hargreaves, you know nothing about the, the Christian party, the, the politics program. So how's this link come about? Well, um, through, I, like I said, I've grown up in Hackney and the Christian party is based in Dorsten Hackney. And so, um, and so it, it's an area thing, really, you know. I've, I've <laughs> I found it through the job centre in Dorsten because they've come to look for people like me who are unemployed, struggling to find work. Right. And so how long have you been doing it now? How long have you been involved with the, the Christian party? Uh, for about two weeks, only two okay. weeks. Okay. And initial impressions? Mm. Uh, very lovely people. You know, I've been welcomed in with open arms and um, already learning so much and able to offer so much of the skills that I have in return. Okay. So, so David, one of your tasks is... is to really to head up this, is this right? And, and the, to make sure that the politics program actually happens week by week and George is here and, and the politicians turn up and the team do the research. Tell us a little bit about what's involved in making it happen on Revelation 2. Um, okay, well, we, we basically, uh, I'll just quickly say that we went in and gave a presentation at the uh, Job Centre, which I found absolutely an eye-opener. And... Um, it, we were welcomed with open arms, and I think really what we had to offer, because um, the job centre walked past the, the, the offices and didn't even think about, you know, the Christian party, and yet in there we have, it's multi-use, there's two studios with, with green screen, um, there's a, a the East London Christian Choir School downstairs as well during the week, and it's a church on Sunday, and it's the head office, so... Uh, they were quite amazed, so we, we're offering a lot. So we've got to get on, to get MPs, because the politics programme will have an MP, um, it'll probably have a journalist or someone of that ilk, and someone from a church background, non-denominational or, or whatever. So we've got to get one person each week, and then we've also got to do, I mean, some ministers may not be able to come, so we'll have to get a film team down to College Green, film uh, a bit for the programme, Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a, George is hoping to have a link with the, with the USA as well, um, possibly by Skype. So there's an awful lot that's going to go into it, and um, the interns are going to be helping getting this running as well as getting the website, which there isn't really a website for the politics program, but they're getting that up and running as well. Yep, that soon will be. Okay, so that's part of your domain, is it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. James? I'm building the website for the politics program as, as we speak. All right, okay. And, and presumably you'll have to do research for the guests who are coming and come up with some yeah. of the questions they're going to be asked. And yeah, things. well, um, there will be information on the website of guests for each week's show, and there will also be archived footage of previous shows. Right. And, and, and James, I mean, you, your background is not in Christian things, so how, how are you coping with, with coming in and, and sort of being bombarded with all this Christian stuff? I, I don't feel bombarded with any Christian stuff. I, f I feel very... I feel like I'm in a very relaxed atmosphere, a very friendly atmosphere. And, yeah, I love being here. OK. So October the 12th isn't long away. No. Uh, any, any plans yet on the first programme? Uh, we've got... Um, Jeffrey Donaldson has agreed to come along. He's, um, he's got an amazing testimony. He's one of the MPs in Northern Ireland. And uh, we've got the um, speaker's chaplain, um, Rose hudson Wilkin. Um, coming along and Th this is a lady who's is she a vicar or curate in one of the London churches yes, isn't she's, she she's um, she's originally Jamaican and she come she's got a uh, she's a vicar for a church very close to where the Christian party ha offices are in Hackney and um, and the speaker sort of has chosen her she's ideal in Parliament she's got a very relaxed at at attitude and everything and she's much admired and loved by all the staff and people, so she's just the right person in the right place. Right, and she's going to be on the first programme. On the first programme, and we're hoping to do, George is hoping to do a, a little bit of a, a cameo at her church to show on the Christian programme, 
so that they can see, you know, her, as her church, her vicarage, and, and everything like that. Right. So if I, if I said to, to you, David, I mean, your heart is Parliament and praying for Parliament. What are you hoping that the politics programmes are going to achieve? I think what I like about the politics programme is it's not going to be threatening for the individuals and it'll, it'll hopefully get through and be allow, allow the MPs to just be for, for their freedom to sort of explain how their views are on whatever. It's going to be non-party political and it'll be across the board. Um, they, they won't necessarily be Christians, they, some of them will be Christians. But I think it'll, it'll give a chance for uh, uh, people to get a real insight as to uh, uh, what a politician's thinking and, and I hope it'll be reality at its best and you know relationship all right and, and James I mean you clearly signed on at the job center because you want a job yeah and unfortunately although you're getting tremendous work experience it, it doesn't actually pay you a salary and give you work so yeah. presumably if, if viewers out there were going to pray for you you'd want them to pray they'd, to pray for you that you get a job uh, yeah right <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I could easily be working on a bar or doing something that pays by the hour, but I want to be earning money in the future and I want to be gaining skills now mm -hmm. so that I can get there as soon as possible. And, and for the moment, this internship that you're doing with the Job Centre, paying your expenses, this is for a, a two-month period, isn't it? Yeah. And, and who knows where it'll lead after that. Yeah, and so it may not pay me, but it pays me in experience. It's very... Absolutely. Right. Well, I wish you well, James, as you do research and, and make it happen. And, thank you. And David, for you and your work in Parliament, we thank you so much for, for praying. And um, we look forward to the politics programme beginning October 12th. Lovely. Thank you. Bless you. There we are. That was uh, recorded yesterday and uh, last night and in fact James went on the camera last night we were one cameraman short and so um, he was given a very quick uh, training experience on the camera and he went on one of them last night I think it's just fantastic that George Hargreaves has gone to the job centre in Hackney and said look you know I'll take five you know um, yeah. five guys who are on the dole and give them some well they weren't experience. all guys Gordon wasn't no there? some girls as well uh, some, That's right. uh, some girls and the thing is I think it looks so good on the CVs if they have done some voluntary work you and I would take someone who'd when they'd been unemployed had tried to do something That's right. with their time That's so. right and and uh, I, I talking with James I guess many of them have not really looked at Christianity before and so they're being put into an environment where they're hearing the gospel and uh, you know yeah. they're, they're listening maybe but he said he felt very welcomed and he didn't feel got at in any way and Christianity is just a way of life it's not um, just preaching and shouting it's walking the walk and doing the talk that's right well keep your emails and texts coming in we just want to do a